We're gonna start with the cups. First, make a slip knot. Then make a chain. For me, I'll chain 18. That's my size. Yours might be different. Then we're going to chain one more to turn, make a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. To make a single crochet, insert hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through the two loops. In the next stitch, make one single crochet as well. We're going to go ahead and put one single crochet into every stitch. In the last stitch, work three single crochets. I already have one here, so I'm going to work two more. Put a stitch marker in the middle single crochet. Next. We're going to crochet along this side. In the very next stitch, work a single crochet. Then work one single crochet into every stitch across.
so that was row one. We should have the same stitch count before and after the stitch marker. For me, it's 18. So row two, chain one and turn. From the first stitch, start working single crochets. In this marked stitch, we're going to work three single crochets. And then again, mark the middle one. Continue working single crochets till the end of this row. Chain 1 and start working row 3. When you get to the stitch marker, put 3 single crochets in that stitch. Then continue working single crochets. So basically, we're going to crochet back and forth this way until this cup is big enough to cover your breast. I'll work 17 rows in total. So this here is 2 rows. I have 8 of them. That makes... 16 rows plus this one 17 rows When this cup is big enough Let me just work my last stitch here We're gonna chain up 200 this is the strap. Make sure it's long enough because we're going to use it to tie the top around our back as well. So after that, chain one 
and a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. But we're going to insert into the back loop. Make a single crochet. And then in the back loop of every stitch, work one single crochet. So pause this video and finish that first. So next, we're going to work along the outside of the cup. Work one single crochet for every single crochet row. Make sure you place them evenly. After we finish the last single crochet, chain 18, chain 1, and fasten off. We're going to work the other cup in the same way. I'll see you when you're working the last row till here. I've marked the middle stitch of both cups so we can see more clearly. So this is my last row. We will join the two cups together before completing this row. 
When you place these two cups together, make sure the strap is at the bottom. So we're going to first work two single crochets in the marked stitch. And then on the other cup, make a slip stitch in the marked stitch. Then on this side, make a third single crochet in the same stitch. Slip stitch in the next stitch on the other side. Back here, single crochet in the next stitch. Then again on the other side, make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Then do this one more time, single crochet on this side, slip stitch on the other. Now we've completed the joining. And then I'm just going to work a few more single crochets here, one in each stitch. As you can see, now the cups are naturally angled like this. Then we're just going to continue working single crochets, finish this cup just like the other one, but don't fasten off because we're going to continue working in this direction. So after chaining 18, chain 1, and single crochet in the back loop from the second chain from the hook, then continue working single crochets here.
because initially I chained 18. So I'm gonna put 18 plus 1 single crochets. Plus 1 is because of the 1 single crochet row here. If you've chained, say, 20 at the beginning, then you should work 21 single crochets next. I'm going to count to the 19th stitch and mark the very next stitch. So I'll know to stop right before the stitch marker. Do the same with the other side. So working single crochets. When you see the stitch marker, make a chain long enough to reach the other side. This chain should be a little tighter than the cups. Try it on and make sure it's not too loose. I chained 29. Next, work a single crochet in the stitch after the stitch marker. And continue putting single crochets. For this chain of 18, put single crochets in the back loop of the stitch. Chain 1 and turn. Continue working single crochets in the opposite direction. Work 14 single crochet rows total, and I'll see you there. So the last thing to do is create spaces at the back for the straps. So chain one and work a single crochet in the first space. Then loosely chain one, skip two spaces in the third space, put a single crochet and one more single crochet in the next space.
then chain one again, skip two spaces, single crochet in the next two spaces. Continue doing this. If you have more or fewer rows, you might need to make some adjustment. But make sure the spaces are evenly placed. Chain one and turn. Work one single crochet in every single crochet. And two single crochets in every chain one space. Fasten off. And do the same with the other side. Attach your yarn. Chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, and start a pattern. 